All right, this is Sideshow. Turns out Rhino has some pathetic security measures on his YouTube channel. So I've decided to hijack it and show you some ultralight backpacking tips that you can put into your bug outfit. Okay, in backpacking, we generally talk about the big three. Shelter, uh, pack, and sleeping system. These are the three items that if you switch to an ultralight version, you can save the most weight. I'm going to be talking about packs today. You know, in general, also with backpacking items, I also like to bring out that uh, there's three considerations for every single piece of equipment that you bring. Price, weight, and strength. And you get to pick two. Okay? I'll let you think about that. This particular pack that I'm going to show you today this is a Z-Pax Arc Blast. This is a 58 liter pack. It has um, a carbon fiber rods that create an air gap so air can slip in with a mesh background. Very comfortable. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how I pack this particular system. On the outside, I have a smart water water bottle. Generally, I never bring an allergen as this is much, uh, much lighter. I have my polycryo ground cover and my mesh bag just in case it gets dirty or wet from condensation in the morning so I don't want it to wet the items inside my pack. This is made out of Cuban uh, hybrid material. Very strong and uh, since it's a hybrid with a polyester it's also abrasion resistant. Also has teep seams, teep tape seams so the pack is also waterproof. Even though it's waterproof I still bring a liner bag. Generally, uh, a trash compactor bag is the preferred choice for a, a liner at only around two ounces. I also don't bring a lot of stuff sacks. So uh, I use uh, the pillow system, which basically means I just stuff everything and use all the items in the pack to make uh, to fill out the volume. You want all the volume to be taken uh, up in the pack so you can use the side compression, the side compression uh, straps of the bag let the, the items falling like a down sleeping bag, you want it to fill up the volume. That was what creates a stable suspension of your pack. On the top of the bag, you want your heaviest items. Generally, that'll be my food bag. I use, a, I use a Cuban fiber food bag that doubles as a bear bag. I have my stove, ditty bag. <clears throat> then, I have my shelter. Again, see no stuff sack. I just stuff it in there. Make sure it fills up the volume. I have my sleeping pad. In this particular one, I didn't bring a uh, trash compactor bag. I have an x nozzle bag. Uh, made by x -Ped. I can use it up to, to blow up my sleeping bag without getting condensation inside the sleeping mattress. I'll show you that later. Um, but also acts as a perfect dry bag. Inside the dry bag, I have my down jacket, wind jacket, any other items like socks or buff or anything like that. Then I also have my down quilt. Again, without a stuff sack, so it takes up the volume. That's everything I have in my pack. On the outside, I might have my toilet bag that has a uh, uh, wipes or my little ultralight trowel. This is a trowel from uh, it's called the Deuce of Spades. There's just a Kickstarter on it. Excellent little trowel. In, in my in my hip belt pockets, I'll contain my Aquamira mix, a hand sanitizer, uh, maybe some trail snacks, and that's all I have uh, on this particular pack. Another I this pack. Uh, because it's made out of Cuban hybrid, is a 16 ounces. However, if you want to get a cheaper pack, this is a Mountain Laurel Designs Exodus made out of Dyneema X. It's actually even a stronger fabric than Cuban, but it does weigh a little bit more. But again, it's cheaper. This particular pack weighs 16 ounces as well, but it does not have any kind of frame or suspension. What I'll use is a ridge rest. Just a closed cell phone pad. I'll fold it into fourths like that. And all you have to do is stuff it inside the pack. 
This will act as your virtual frame. So the closed cell foam pad is up against my back. I'll then stuff all my items inside the pack and since I'm taking up all the volume, I'll have a nice tight suspension. And that, uh, that's another idea for you. In ultralight backpacking, all of this weighs under 10 pounds. So every item in your pack besides food and water weighs 10 pounds. And that's the goal that you should strive for. So this is Sideshow. I just need to tell right now that he needs to lighten up his gear. His bag is way too heavy. So if you liked me better than Rhino, let me know in the comments below. This is Sideshow with Survival Skills 101. Are you prepared to look forward?